Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and in today's video I thought I would decorate one of my chinchilla cages into a Christmas theme cage and the reason for this is mainly because it's nearly Christmas and why not? Uh, this is the only cage that I will be doing as Christmas theme though because I can't do it with all my cages because it costs too much money. They all have toys and hammocks and all that kind of stuff but this is the only one that's going to be Christmas themed. So yes, this is one of the cages that's in my living room. The chinchillas aren't in this cage at the moment um, because I thought it'd be easier to decorate it without the chinchillas in there. The only thing that I've really put down so far is festive fleece. So this is fleece I got from Tia Knight in the UK. And yeah, so it's Christmas themed. It's got little, it's got little Christmas trees on it. And now I'll show you what I bought for the cage. So first of all I bought a new hammock for them and this is a hammock with penguins on it because I thought festive, winter time. And uh, I got this from Beastie Beds in the UK and they are probably the best company I have actually bought from in terms of hammocks. They're very reasonably priced and they tend to last really really well. So yep. Then I made some Christmas toys using red, green and white stars and these little balls as well. So I made these myself. I don't know how well they're going to hold together because I did make them myself. Um, so we shall see. So I also got this ledge and Christmas tree from a company on Etsy called Tiny Furry Pets. And this is not sponsored by them or anything but they have been super good. For, I will say full transparency, the first one that I bought actually turned up damaged. The tree had come, come apart. and. Uh, but she was very professional about it, a bit of a mix up with the return labels and in the end she just said to me keep the original as a spare. And uh, yes, now I have two of these. My husband did try and fix the other one and it is it's attached now but it's not particularly sturdy so I'm going to put it in this cage but I just don't know how long it's going to last for before the chinchillas actually wreck it. But this one should last longer, this is the replacement one. Um, and then I finally I bought this. From the same shop at Etsy, this is a boredom breaker. So this is again tiny furry pet shop, and yeah, it's a little boredom breaker. They have these little wooden, they have these little wooden rings on them that they can play with, and they have the ratting balls as well. So yes, this should be fun. So I'm going to set up the cage now, and you can see what it looks like at the end. so this is the whole cage now I've done it all and uh, on top we have a Christmas tree we have a hammock and we have lots of hanging toys I probably could make more toys if I wanted to if these these won't last five minutes so we have the hammock Christmas tree I actually put the Christmas tree on top of two other ledges this is quite heavy and I don't know if the bars are strong enough to actually withstand them. If I put them along the back wall where the bars are a bit more stronger I think it would be okay but I didn't want to risk damaging the cage because um, yeah if I, if I was going to stick them up in the air I'd probably stick them along the horizontal line, uh, horizontal bars rather than the vertical ones because the vertical ones aren't as strong. Um, yeah so and then we have the Christmas fleece, say so hammock little hanging toys all over the place 
Down the bottom we have our second Christmas tree, which again this is the one that arrived damaged and you can see look it's very very wobbly because this completely snapped off. My husband's actually drilled into it to try and fix it and again I've put this on another ledge just because just in case it is heavy. Probably be fine but it's just heavy and I don't want to risk it. And then down here we've got the Christmas fleece and we've got the board and breaker down here as well. So now I'm going to go and let my chinchillas have a look and see what they think of it. So okay guys, what do you think? What do you think, huh?